Hi guys, it's Ashley and I haven't done a travel vlog in forever but I just landed in Vancouver and I'm here with my parents like always What's so funny? <laughs> <laughs> I was, who, who will you be on a vacation with? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying, like always The one only <laughs> one. I think my parents are going crazy I only got one hour of sleep <laughs> So how are you doing? There seems I look pretty good for only one She's hour. She's a little sleep. delirious. Yeah, <laughs> How me? Dad. Uh, <laughs> like a zombie. Mood. I'm trying to figure out how to use the train. We're trying to go to our hotel now. So many logs. We made it. We stopped at a Starbucks because my dad is about to pass out and he just got the tie-dye cap. And my goal of this trip is to just get some really good poutine because that's what you got to do when you're in Canada. Uh, this is not Tim Hortons, but we have a tie-dye cap. Mmm, interesting case. I don't think there's coffee in here, but... Oh, it's, it. it's probably just all sugar. I want... Welcome to downtown Vancouver! Pull up, pull up! Ooh, this hotel lighting is A1. So, I just redid my makeup, put on some real clothes, and we're ready to go out! Yeah. So, we're currently just walking around the nearest terminal near our hotel. It's pretty poppin', it's like by the water. We made it to Canada Place. Basically, this place is just a trade center, a harbor. There's like a hotel in there. They have like venues. So it's a bunch of stuff. So now we're gonna look for something to eat because all I've had today was like two hash browns. And two. it's like five o'clock. Yeah, and I had two chocolate chip cookies. So we're about to walk the Canadian Trail at the Canada Place. So I think they have just a bunch of different rivers or cities on the ground. I'm not really sure. And there's like some type of ride right here. Alright, so now we're making our way over to Gastown to get some pasta because I have been craving Italian food so bad and I'm really hungry. Gastown. Ooh, this is the Flatiron of Vancouver. We made it to the restaurant. There's a long line. Let's do it. Um, we're outside waiting for our food, and this crazy dude just walked by with blood all over his face, speaking very weird things. Not sure what's going on here. Legit been waiting for this restaurant for like an hour and we're finally here. We're finally seated. Food is here. I want to put the pan that's got some sausage, fennel, rosemary pizza. There are so many crackheads here. Alright, so we just finished dinner and I feel like a human again. Now we're gonna head over to the steam clock and get some photos in Vancouver's most historic town. Steam clock is spotted. It's almost eight, so we're waiting for the steam to go off. <laughs> oh, you know what? These monies are pretty cool. They're like the Australian dollars where you can't like you can't rip it. Just okay. Is that, Here, is that the queen? Huh, yeah, that is queen. the queen. In hey, what is she doing in Canada? What is she doing in Canada? I thought. Rupee float? Yeah. Hey, give me some money first. <laughs> Pretty sunset on the way back to the hotel. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, so we're pretty tired, so I think we're gonna call it a day and head back to the hotel. Maybe chill out by the pool for a little bit. So we're gonna check out the pool. Ooh. 
Shifu, we just came up these stairs from the pool and at least this really nice outdoor area. Beautiful night Vancouver sky. Anyways, the hot tub was really relaxing and we're going to rest up for the rest of the day. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. A little chilly today, but we're making our way over to Stanley Park. And I think we're going to rent some bikes or whatever. Cold today. What happened? We're passing by this cute little park on a walk over. I think it's slowly warming up. I think they purposely make it look like a ship, like, you know, top the yeah, ship definitely. here in the surrounding with the fence that looks like, you know, the side of the ship. Yeah. Wow, shout out to City of Vancouver. They literally have a trash truck that just picks up litter. Ooh, look at this restaurant. It's so cool. Yo, yo, yo. Dashing dogs, bro. Dashing dogs. <laughs> so we've got the park over here and we're trying to find some bikes that we can rent. Uh, my parents are trying to find the two-seater ones because my mom does not know really how to ride a bike. Yeah. Who so, doesn't know how guess to who's going to be doing the dirty space. work? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Is it okay? So I got this cruiser and my parents are riding a tandem. My mom's gonna be in the back. We got our helmets on. I'm so excited. Yay! We're trying to figure it out. I'm good though. <laughs> mom, that's your shoe. <laughs> My mom dropped her shoe. <laughs> Thank you. There's a kooky ass bird over there. Biking along the harbor. It's such a nice day. It was really cold earlier, but it's warming up. Woo! Almost fell off there. I'm okay. What? Why are people screaming? Ooh, we're about to go into this forest. Woo! I'm trying the tandem and it is so hard. Hi. Stop! Ah! Oh my god. Um, we have angry people yelling at us, so this is not gonna work out. I think dad's better at this. I don't like it. Wow. Amazing. Lionsgate Bridge. So sick. I just like keep filming and filming, and it just keeps getting better and better. Um, now we've come across a legitimate beach. Like what? This place is so cool. Okay, so we're just stopping by to have lunch. Ugh, I just got a burger, fish and chips. I got mustard all over my jacket because it squirted out so fast, but you can't complain with a view like this. All right, we're back on the path now feels a lot better after eating <laughs> and I think we're about halfway through Stanley Park. Admire ocean views. Ooh, there's a whole ass pool over here. Yeah. What a beautiful day. Anyways, I gotta say this is definitely one of my favorite parks that I've been to. It's better than Central Park. It's better than Hyde Park, it's better than Golden Gate Park. Like, definitely one of the big, 
better parks to visit, I feel. And the biking is so much fun, just makes the whole thing worth it. There's so many things to see inside the park. Definitely number one thing to do here. Okay, something funny that I noticed happens here is that people eavesdrop a lot. Like we were just at this convenience store buying some drinks and the clerk overheard us. We, like, we were in the back of the store and the clerk overheard us talking about like sugar in coconut water and stuff like that. And then this has happened like a couple times in the hotel, like on the street. So we just counted how many instances we've had of people like eavesdropping and there's been at least five. Some good, some bad, but pretty interesting. I feel like that doesn't happen very often back home. All right, so we are at the hotel. We just freshened up a bit and we're gonna head out to get some poutine and then we're gonna walk to Granville Island. So I looked on Yelp for the best poutine in Vancouver and I found this place that has vegetarian gravy um, called La Belle Potate. So we're gonna head over there now and see what it's all about. You already know our Asian asses had to stop by for some milk tea. I got strawberry meat guava and some coconut Thai milk tea. So we're on Robson Street and they have like a lot of good Asian, Asian food. Drinks. So you already know what's up. All right, cheers. 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 Mm. Oh, we'll it's sparkly. It. <gasps> it's so good, Ashley. It's exactly what I expected. This is sparkly, try it. Okay, this is more Asian. We found it. And I think the street is like big for pride or something because they have like rainbow sidewalks over there. But anyways, we're oh, it's here. Vancouver Pride. We're here at the poutine place. There's a vape advertisement. Love it. Here it is. Fries, vegetarian gravy, and cheese curds. Bad. It tastes exactly how it looks. <laughs> now it's chili Update. cheese spice. It tastes really good with hot sauce. Davy Street. Alright, we're back on the road. We're walking towards Granville Island, which is like across this bridge, I think. And there's a ton of people biking here as well. So it turns out we actually have to take a ferry to Granville Island or we can walk like 30 minutes around. Here it is. Thank you. Have a great Oh, how cute. We're here, Granville Island. Thank you. Seattle's public market basically. Oh my god, all oh, this pasta looks so good. Look at all that pasta abilities. Oh, what are those? I'm overwhelmed. We just tried some currants and some gooseberries. It was really sour and weird. Oh my god, that's so good. And then bought some cotton candy grapes. Try. Oh, very good, very good, very good. How about this? Like, if you've never had cotton candy grapes, mm -hmm. they're mm -hmm. the best thing ever. Mm -hmm. They also have like some art and like crafts that people make. Okay, this is so cool. They have like flakes that you can put into water and it makes soup. What? I've never seen this in my life. We're just walking around the rest of the island. It honestly doesn't really seem like there's much here. It's just like a bunch of little stores, but they're all kind of closed now. Here's the entrance if you're driving or walking here. It's not really an island. So this is actually Granville Island. It's not really an island. It's just attached a little bit. 
So that's why you would have to take a ferry over unless you walk or drive around. Yeah. We've come across a bunch of people dancing. How cute. This is so cute. I don't know what's happening. And then we have a freaking water park. I think I read something about this being like the biggest free water park. So here's a list of everything you can do in Granville Island. So this place is pretty huge, there's a lot of exploring to do. But it kind of closes early, it's like past 7 now. So we're gonna head back, I think we're gonna stop by on the way back to the hotel and get some ramen cause our Asian asses need some Asian food, you know what I mean? Look at right. it. Look. That's right. We're craving for it. So um, what shall we see? I know I've never That's pretty cool. I've never seen a shop just sell brooms. Look. This is very, very They dead ass have just a bunch of brooms. How funny. Look at this. Did what we? is that? And look, can we just talk about that building? Like mm -hmm. what is happening? We're back on the ferry now. Our feet are so tired. I don't know how we're gonna do the suspension bridge tomorrow. They have these really cool public toilets that they clean and disinfect and air dry after each use. <laughs> Door opens automatically after 12 minutes. Warning light will flash two minutes before opening. All right, we're back on Robson, which is where all the good Asian food is. We're about to go get some ramen. There's some cute writings on the floor. Get it? All right, so we've decided on this place. It's a little bit bougie, but the other number one place on Yelp had a long ass line. This one, the one is 16 bucks for full ramen. This place has been here for 53 years in Japan, so. It must be good. I'm so excited. It's pretty good. Ooh, look at the chili. Delicious. This place is so good. I gotta say, that is like hands down the best ramen I've ever had and the best gyoza I've ever had. And I didn't even eat the meat in the gyoza. It is so light and crispy. So good. Guys, come to this place. It's really good. Don't listen to what Yelp has to say. This one. Ooh, we're about to go into you the Japanese say. store. There's so many options. I don't know what I want. I got the last two onigiris. There's no more, but TB, if you saw my Japan vlog, you know, I ate these like every day when I was in Japan. We stand Canada because they round up all the dollar amounts so there's no pennies necessary. It makes paying so much easier. We're ordering at this cute cafe. Taste test. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, is she? But my dad is literally a kid in a candy store. Alright, so we are headed back to our hotel now. It's gonna be another long day tomorrow. We're gonna do the suspension bridge and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. We are on our way to Canada Place to grab some breakfast slash lunch real quick. We just have one thing on our list today and that is the Capilano suspension bridge. Can't go to Canada without stopping by Tim Hortons. So here we are pulling up my first time. Ooh. Ooh, stand paper straws, even though it dissolves. <laughs> it's good, I got a coffee mocha. So Canada Place actually offers free shuttles to the Capilano Suspension Bridge. Hello. A little bit of the That's where we were biking the yesterday. Stanley like some Park. Large thunderstorms developing up in that over in that so area beautiful. right now, which is. We made it. We're about to buy tickets.
Northwest. Okay, so we're about to begin our adventure. Yay! So we're just waiting a couple minutes for the history tour. It's pretty wiggly material, and when the bridge was built, it would sway in the wind. So the First Nations people called it the Laughing Bridge because it looked like the spirit of the canyon was laughing. Here's Ray Mitchell. He purchased the bridge in the 50s after it had fallen into disrepair, and he rebuilt the whole thing in just five days using pre-stressed uh, steel cable. So that way they knew how much weight the bridge could hold. So many people are wondering why we call this part Capilano. It sounds kind of like an Italian name, but it's actually an anglicized version of the word that you saw in that sign, Capilano or Capilanuk, meaning beautiful river or people of the river. So there's definitely a lot of like native culture embodied in this park and um, basically generation by generation uh, both Europeans and native peoples helped to make this place better and what it is today so it was really interesting learning about a little bit of the history of this place oh my let's get it all right stepping onto the bridge it's already shaking <laughs> Look at everybody nervously clamping onto the rails. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> Look, everyone's so nervous. It's okay, guys. We're eating candy mm. to keep our sandy. <laughs> <laughs> My mom's feeling a little bit dizzy, so we're gonna have some food. We brought some Subway. I'm snacking on some chips. Um, man made pond. Like, We're about to enter the treetop adventures. Oh, this is so cute. Suspension of this Yeah, so cute. I'm scared. Oh, yeah. Look down there. So, in BC. This is already a quarter of the world's temperate rainforest, so that shows that we really need to preserve rainforests because there really aren't that many left. We're about to go to the cliff walk, which is the other side of the suspension bridge that we crossed earlier. I'm looking down. This is pretty cool. My parents are a little bit freaked. Is that you on the? Sheesh! Oh my God! <laughs> Trees can absorb up to forty percent of their water from fog. That is pretty lit, yo. Unbelievable. So this park was actually really. Small, much smaller than we anticipated. So we're actually gonna do one more lap to get more pictures. Uh, it's actually pretty small. Like you'd probably cover this entire park in like 30 minutes. You guys, it is so difficult to get photos in this place. First off, the lighting is really difficult to work with. Second of all, there's a lot of people waiting. So like, it's hella rush. And third, I do not know how to pose. Like, how I think I look versus how I actually look. Shout out to my mom, the photographer. He's not happy. <laughs> Back to Canada Place now. And then I think we're gonna go to Chinatown to get some food. I'm poop. Poop. This is so cool. So the middle lane of the Lion Gate Bridge changes depending on the traffic. So right now it's obviously not that's pretty cool. Again, the bus driver literally eavesdropped our conversation the entire bus ride. We were talking about eating in Chinatown. I know. And when we get off, he tells us that Chinatown is closed. <laughs> yeah, he got all those information from like us. Like he literally heard while everything we, were talking. we said. I don't know if this and is we're just a Canadian thing, loud. but it's so funny that it just keeps happening to us. So interesting. We are in Robson Square. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> it's pretty popular. Pretty cool. So that side of Robson is all like shopping district. And then now, once you get to the intersection of, of Robson and Butte, 
it begins all the Asian food. We need to get some spicy food. My soul always needs Asian food. Yum. Yummy. So we all got fortune cookies and my mom's is super accurate. It says you will travel far and wide for both business and pleasure. Which makes sense because my parents are flight attendants. And this is my fortune. The arts, meaning YouTube? Hmm? Anyways, in Canada, when you pay, they always give you this thing so you don't have to wait for your receipts. Anyways, in Canada, every time you pay at a restaurant, they give you this device and you can like select all your tips on there so you don't have to wait for like your server to come back and it's so fast. I love it. America needs to get on that. Anyways, it's the end of the day and my parents are just having some they're just yeah, having some fresh. Chinese dessert meat fresh it's not my thing but anyways I'm gonna end the vlog here it's our last night in Vancouver I'm so sad but my first trip to Canada was super successful and I gotta say my favorite part was definitely Stanley Park and the biking Hi. remember to subscribe all right listen to my dad mm. subscribe she's the best